Hi, I'm JJ and welcome to the final lesson of this series. By the end of this lesson, you'll know how to design your app using global and block styles, connect your application to your company's custom domain, optimize your application for search engine visibility, test your application on various device settings to ensure it works well on desktop, tablet, and mobile devices, and finally, how to publish your app to the world or to your business and team so everyone can see your accomplishments. Let's start by fine tuning your app's design. A well-designed app isn't just about function. It should be visually appealing and easy to navigate. One of the key components of building a great app is styling it to reflect your brand and meet your user expectations. Software provides a comprehensive suite of styling features that cater to both beginners and advanced users. The theme settings in software provide a centralized way to maintain a consistent look and feel across your entire app. Instead of styling individual blocks or pages one by one, these settings ensure that key design elements, such as fonts, colors, spacing, and accent colors are applied universally. To adjust your global theme settings, click on the theme area in the left panel. Here you can modify fonts by choosing the font families and weights to match your brand, colors where you can set global text colors, accent colors and background colors, or sizes where you can adjust the desired dimension of your application. I normally recommend going with the medium option. These settings help maintain a cohesive and professional appearance throughout your application. While global theme settings ensure overall design consistency, block specific styling allows you to fine tune the appearance of individual blocks. This is useful when you need to highlight a specific section, apply different styles to various content areas, or override global settings for a particular layout. Each block has its own styles tab where you can adjust its background colors to make blocks stand out or blend in seamlessly with your brand, modify padding and spacing to further control the space around the block content for better visual balance, customize borders to add or remove borders for emphasis or a separation, update element styles like changing your fonts, colors, and sizes for individual elements like cards, top bar section, and item fields. Take your time here. Small design tweaks can make a big difference in how professional your app feels. Aim for consistent styles whenever possible as a cohesive design ensures your app's overall look and usability. And if you need customization beyond the built-in settings, software allows you to insert custom HTML, CSS, or JavaScript for full design control in many areas of your application. Once your app looks just right, let's set up your domain. Publishing your app on the web makes it accessible to users, whether it's a client portal, an internal tool, or a public-facing website. By default, software assigns your app a subdomain, such as yourapp.software.io, which is great for testing and early development. However, for a more professional and branded experience, you can connect a custom domain, which is a unique address like yourbusiness.com. A custom domain strengthens your brand by using a personalized URL for your company. It builds trust with users, making your app feel more official, and it improves your search engine optimization for better discovery on the web, if applicable to your app. To configure your custom domain, click into the settings area and click on custom domain. Once there, software will provide you with instructions to update your DNS settings with your domain provider, such as GoDaddy or Namecheap. This process links your app to your custom domain, making it easily accessible on the web. If your app is public facing, optimizing it for search engines, also known as SEO, is essential for discoverability and higher rankings in search results. SEO ensures that your app appears when people search for relevant topics, helping drive traffic and increase engagement. Here's how you can improve your app's SEO. Meta titles and descriptions provide search engines with a summary of your page content. To implement, Go to the SEO settings in each of the pages settings area and write compelling meta titles and descriptions that accurately describe the content of your page. And then when you're in the pages settings, update the social preview image to define how your app's pages appear when you share your app website on platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. Finally, if you need advanced settings or integrations, structured data, analytics, and indexing tools can help improve search engine visibility. You can use custom code to structure data for better indexing, integrate tools like Google Analytics or Google Search Console to track your performance. By implementing these SEO strategies, you'll help your app reach a wider audience and improve its visibility in search results. But what if you also want to enhance the user experience on mobile devices?
Softer allows you to turn your web app into a progressive web app with one click, making it easily accessible on mobile devices. For example, if you're building a project tracker for field teams who need access on the go, a PWA allows them to use the app without needing to open up a browser every time. They can simply install it on the phone's home screen and launch it like a native app. To configure your app as a PWA, go to the settings area, click on mobile app, and enable the PWA feature, which is only available on professional plans and above. To customize your PWA, you can add your app's name, icon, and configure options for a branded mobile experience. And finally, your users can install your PWA directly from their browser for quick access. A PWA ensures a seamless experience for those who use your software application on mobile devices. Speaking of mobile devices, let's make sure your application looks as expected on desktop, tablet, and mobile devices with device testing. In Software Studio, click on the device preview icon to see how your application looks on desktop, tablet, and mobile devices. If certain blocks don't display well, you can adjust their visibility settings in the block visibility tab to show or hide blocks based on device type for a seamless experience. Now, are you ready to go live? I think so. In the top right corner of Software Studio, click Publish. Your app will be live on your assigned software subdomain or your connected custom domain. If you make changes after publishing, you need to republish for them to appear on the live site. I recommend previewing your updates before publishing to ensure everything functions correctly on your live site. And with that, congratulations, you did it. Your app is live and ready to make an impact. Whether you built a client portal, an internal tool, or a custom application, you've taken your idea and turned it into something that can solve real problems for your business. Congrats, you should be very proud of yourself. If you're looking for more resources behind this series, I suggest some of the following options. You can enroll in our client portal course, which is a step-by-step -step guide to building an entire client portal for the first time. You can join the software community forum to connect with other builders and to get support for any questions you have, or you can connect with our live support who can assist you through problems or just help you along the way. Otherwise, thank you for being part of this journey. I can't wait to see what you build next. And until then, happy building and welcome to the software community.